Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to the garage. We got a special guest in the shop. Uh, we got uh, Plum Crazy. You know, Mark's old tractor, uh, the one that Bo was driving. Uh, they want to pull this year. Uh, I went down and helped them get the motor set in it, and everything, but uh, we ran out of time. So I brought it home. We're gonna finish it up and, uh, you know, just basically plumb everything, get it ready to fire, and then Mark's gonna come up and uh, we're gonna fire it off and tune it and we'll go, we're gonna go pulling. So uh, let's, uh, let's get busy on it. All right, y'all, uh, I guess start out with uh, what we need to do. Uh, we just got the motor set in, bolted down. Uh, it's not leveled. Uh, if you got, I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not. Uh, the, there's a wider gap at the top of the clutch driver than there is down here. So we need to shim under the front. Uh, we need to put the oil filter on it. We need to put the oil drain on it. Uh, get the carburetor linkage, which is right here, get that all hooked up, and uh, we have to, uh, well, we're going to change exhaust, because we don't like the zoomies, uh, we got to pull the rockers off, uh, we were turning the motor over by hand, uh, trying to get the valves adjusted in, and uh, they, the cam has just a little bit too much lift, I guess not too much, but it's got enough lift that the rockers are uh, binding on the uh, standoffs so we need to modify the rockers a little bit um, and we need to put a new fuel pump on uh, the fitting got pulled out of this one uh, no big deal uh, like I said this is all just little stuff um, need to hook the wires up put a starter on it uh, just just a bunch of little stuff uh, but uh, it all needs done like I said, they want to go pulling, so we're going to help them out because uh, we're a team, and uh, we're going to get it going. So I think first thing on the agenda is we'll uh, loosen the motor up and get some shims under it and get it uh, set and level. So let me grab the tools and everything and the shims, and we'll get on doing that. All right, y'all. Like I said, we're going to start out. We're going to get this motor leveled up and... We're just going to use some washers. Um, they did send some spacers, but they're like a quarter inch thick. I don't think we're going to need anything near that thick, but uh, hey, you know, we're going to try. So first thing we need to do is loosen the bolts. Using a little swivelly action here. Got to take the front bolts. Well, we're gonna take the front bolts completely out, but just need to loosen the back ones. All right, I'm gonna go around the other side, get that side done, and we'll bring you back and. Uh, get this thing leveled up all right y'all kind of got you guys set up so you can see the the gap in the uh, clutch area there so if I lift up on the front of the motor just a little bit that looks pretty square so we're gonna slide a shim underneath and hopefully that uh, takes care of it yep that's one shim it's one of these washers 
and that looks pretty uh, pretty square to me need to go up just a hair more yeah just a hair more so there we go that looks pretty dang good right there yeah pretty even so they can be off just a hair they don't have to be 100% dead on um, but uh, yeah we'll get uh, we'll get those locked in place and uh, that's uh, that'll be that for that so all right let me get that done and uh, we'll move on to the next deal all right y'all I got the bolts back in with the spacers and she looks like she's running pretty straight now so there's one thing off the list so, um, next thing, uh, I think we need to modify the valve cover, or rocker arms to uh, work with this cam and lifter set. Alright y'all, let's get this valve cover off here and I'll, I'll show you what, we're, uh, what we got to do. It's all aluminum. Anyways, maybe we can wedge it up in there. There we go. We got her. All right. What's happening? Uh, let me get the camera off the uh, tripod and get you down here and show you up and close. All right, y'all. Uh, you can see how this valve's coming down. It's pushing down on the valve. The nose of it's pushing down on the valve. The stem. The opening isn't wide enough for the stem to go all the way down, so uh, we uh, it's uh, binding up. So, um, but I may have just found a found another problem. Um, can you all see the center line of this roller in conjunction with that uh, stem? Um, they may have the uh, wrong valves in this head. This, uh, these, ro these rockers may take the longer valves because it looks to me, I need to get down in there and look, but it looks to me like the uh, roller's rolling off the end of the, off the end of the valve. So, alright, let me uh, do a little investigating. Um, I didn't look at it that close when I was down there at Mark's, but, uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me investigate a little bit more here. Alright, y'all, I got my eyeball down in there and checked, and it's, it's staying on the valve, um, just, uh, real close. It's just an optical illusion from looking down on it, so, alright, we just need to break these things loose. spun out of there all right y'all hope you guys can see the difference in those the one on the left I've done I've taken about an eighth of an inch or so out of it and uh, you know that should be plenty of clearance so uh, I've got three more to do uh, it's real easy I mean it's not real heavy material it's just aluminum uh, just get in there and do her up so all right, I'm going to get this first one cleaned up, get this next one done, and then uh, do the other two for the other side. So uh, we'll bring you back when we go to put it back together. All right, y'all. Um, I got this rocker modified. This one doesn't need modified. I've got it set to where it needs to be. But, uh, yeah, this... Uh, this uh, rocker, I, I don't know what's going on. I rotated the cam till the lifter was sitting on top of the lobe. 
and then I adjusted the rocker lift or the push rod until the push down and the piston actually contacted the the uh, or the valve contacted the piston. I can't even speak. Um, and when I rotated it back to you know uh, bottom dead center on the piston, um, that's how much free play is in it. So uh, I don't know if this is a reverse grind cam. Um, I don't know if the cam timing's off on it. I did not put this engine together. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, I know the piston probably needs relieved some for the valve. But that is a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of free space. Uh, that's almost a quarter inch. Um, yeah, you can't relieve a piston that much. So, um... I've got to get a hold of Mark and uh, talk over with him what's going on. Uh, this engine may be coming back out of this tractor and getting tore back down. And, uh, yeah. Uh, it, 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 to me, it almost seems like the cam's out of time. Um, it's, you know, not... The, the valve is wide open at top dead center. Um, like, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's got me, it's got me swinging. Um, there's no pop out that I know of on the, on the piston or anything. Um, the, uh, the head has not been milled. At least I don't think this one's been milled. Like I said, I don't know. I didn't, I did not assemble this engine. Um, so, yeah, um. Yeah, uh, it's got me swinging, so uh, I'm going to go back to checking some other stuff out, and uh, I'll let you guys know what uh, what I come up with. So, all right, I might move on to something else on this engine. So, all right, that's it for right now. All right, y'all. <coughs> I've, uh, I've been through Plum Crazy. I've had the bore scope down in it. Um, I've checked bunches and bunches of things. Uh, I think there's a couple things that need to happen. One, I think the, the uh, pistons need relieved for the exhaust valves. Um, I think the cam needs to be re-timed. Um, put in the time. I don't know if, who put it together or who put the cam and stuff in it. I know Mark helped put the rotating assembly together. Um, but I don't know if he helped install it or not. I haven't talked to him about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, there, there's just, there's way too much, I mean, there's way too much play. That, it, it, it can't be in time right. Um, it just, uh, the more and more I think about it, um, it's just, it's not right. So, uh. So, I'm um, waiting to hear back from him, see what we're going to do, see if we're going to pull the engine back out, tear it back down, uh, re-degree the time it cam in and stuff, um, or, you know, what, what he wants to do. Um, so, uh, I don't know how much this will make of a video, good video. Um, I was hoping to have a lot more done, uh, show you guys a lot more, but, uh, yeah, we can't, uh, we can't move on from here until um, we do something with them valves and stuff. So, uh, I guess it would be a good time to get back on monkey business. So, uh, um, I guess we'll uh, see how long this portion, this amount of video we have on Plum Crazy. If we got enough to make a video, we'll make a video. If not, we'll throw some uh, work on monkey business in on it too. So, all right. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this week's video. Um, didn't get as much done as what I was hoping to get done, but when you're building these engines and stuff like that, and uh, you just you just run into problems that, uh, you know, you can't uh, just snap your fingers and take care of. So 
Uh, might be a short video. Don't know until I edit it, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Um, if you would, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And uh, please uh, leave me a comment down there in the bottom. Uh, if you guys got any ideas on what uh, could possibly be going on inside this engine, um, I'm open to all kinds of suggestions. So that's going to do it, and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.